We all remember the Rack Boys, a family that consisted of Jaquay Nunnally, Kanan Lamb, Tariq Gim, and Demetrius Bendros, who terrorized the MIAC defense back in the 90s. The Remix 2.0 consisted of Xavier Smith, Chad Hunter, Marcus Williams, and Azende Ray. Unfortunately, Williams and Ray are no longer with the team. Adding this young man that we're going to talk about, plus another receiver that was second in receiving yards during the 2019 season, I think that fam, I think fam, you might be on to something. They might have the Rack Boys 3.0. It's your favorite coach back at it again. Ten toes down, about to tell you how it all went down. This is Tomorrow Lee Sports Network with your host, Coach Walker. If you're new to the channel, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, like these videos, comment on these videos, share these videos, and tap in a friend or two and tell them to come all on. All my leaders out there, welcome back. Y'all know the drill. Y'all know the routine. Hey. Share these videos, comment on these videos, hit that notification bell, like these videos. Guys, tap in a friend or two and tell them to come on in. There's nothing but positive vibes over here. We're just having a good time talking about HBCU sports. And guys, let me tell you something. I appreciate you all like I tell you all the time in all of my videos because we are killing this YouTube algorithm, kicking it in square in the behind, letting them know, hey, look, Coach Walker and Tomorrow Leaf Sports Network is here and we're bringing that heat. So guys, let me go ahead and get on into this thing right now because I know y'all like, Coach, what you got going on? Wait a minute, Rat Boys, hold on. The Rat Boys, they talking about a remix of 2019. Yeah, they talking about a remix of 2019, but part of that remix is out the door. So we got to sit, you know, I'm sitting back trying to piece it all together to figure out exactly what fam you has going on because I'm going to tell you right now, guys, that daggone receiving, that receiving core, that receiving room, that bad boy is busting at the seams because they got a lot of players in there. They got a lot of athletes in there. And I'm going to tell you guys, listen, Coach Simmons and his coaching staff, I know they are smiling from ear to ear because they know, hey, look, we got athletes, we got depth, and we can do whatever it is that we need to do to make sure that we're out there on the field competing and winning games in the manner what they're looking to do. So, like I said before, <clears throat> I saw some posts out there where they're saying that QB1 that transferred in is no longer there at the school. I, Coach Walker doesn't know that to be true. And again, guys, like I just stated, fam, you have so much depth at all of their positions. It's scary. And trust you me, Coach Simmons and his coaching staff, Coach Simmons and Coach Black will for certain will make sure that they have those quarterbacks ready to rock and roll when it comes down time, when it comes time for them to play against Jackson State in the uh, Orange Blossom Classic. Now, I'm going to tell it to you as simple as this. Uh, <clears throat> Coach Simmons and coaching staff, are smiling from ear to ear because, like I said before, they got recruits coming in from all over the place that want to become a part of the Rattlers organization. And you know what? When you got Savion Williams transferred in, you got tight end Jeremiah Pruitt, you got early commit, um, you got early commit linebacker Deterius Lee, you got safety Love Jenkins, and you got defensive back Antoine Collier want to come and be a part of your program. Guys, that's speaking volumes, and you know Coach Simmons ain't done. Coach Simmons got that gift of gab to get these young men to come in and be a part of the family, you family, and you know what? He ain't done yet. Like he said before, he, he sent the tweet out the other day, talking so we just getting started. We ain't done. We we are not done, and I believe him. I truly believe him, because what I'm seeing right now, this is crazy, but again, um, like I said before, you already know that wide receiver room is busting at the seams because, guys, they got a total of 15 wide receivers in their program. So when I say they got depth, they're not. I'm not playing when I say they have depth. Hey, I know I know Coach Barisa is smiling and he's excited to say, hey, I got players at my disposal. I can go ahead and insert whomever I need to insert depending upon the uh, depending upon the defenses that we're going to face. And you know what? Everything's going to be all well and good, but we already know all of those 15 receivers are not going to see the field this season because guess what? It's just too much talent in that room. So we're going to sit back and wait and see exactly who goes out there. But I think I have down, I have four, three I know for sure. I'm going to say two I know for sure. One that's added, I know that's going to be in there because he put up some stats in the season. And this new guy that I'm going to I'm ready to touch down on, yeah, he's definitely going to be in there. The receiver core that I'm looking at is, is Xavier Smith. Now, he was stats performed All-American third team offense. He also was the 2019 MEAC first team. He also led the MEAC in receiving yards with uh, 1,159 with 77 receptions. And he was the only receiver in the MEAC that season that had over 1,000 receiving yards. Now, Chad Hunter, 6'1", 185 pounds, played in eight games during the 2019 season. 
Now, he was injured, so he didn't have the same output that he had back in 2018 when he was this, when he was second team all me at. But he looks to show that he's ready to rock and roll this upcoming season and get back to true form. Now, Dave, David Manigo, this young man here is the one that I added. He was six, he's six foot three, 190 pounds. He was second on the team in receiving with 575 yards. 41 receptions with five touchdowns. This young man that we're going to discuss right now is the young man that I've been talking about. If they put this together correctly, this may be the Rack Boys 3 I'm just going. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just going off what I'm seeing, and I'm telling you right now, it's looking When good. I tell you, you don't get the name Human Joystick for nothing. This young man is putting on a show every time he laced them, every time he laced them cleats up and touched that field, he's putting on a show in some way, shape, or fashion. Jamari Sharid, Listed as a two-star athlete by 247sports.com. He's a two-sport athlete, five foot seven, 175 pounds, red shirt junior, wide receiver from Texas State University, who played football and ran track at Cypress Springs Hills High School in Houston, Texas. So you wonder, what does he bring to the table, coach? You're talking all this stuff about, you know, him being a human joystick. When you have speed that kills, there's a lot of different things that you can do out there on the field. I mean, heck, this man was running track. He ran 100 meters. He ran 100 meters in 10.69 seconds. Is that not impressive enough? If not, I'm gonna put it to you like this: This man is putting on. He's definitely putting on a show on the field while positioning his team to score points whenever he touches the this ball. This young man is truly a great asset on the team. And also, while he was there at Texas State, a total of 590 all-purpose yards, averaging 8.43 yards per game, along with 21 receptions for 236 yards with one touchdown. Now, I can see this young man playing kick return in the slot on offense or playing on the outside in the wide receiver. His speed is going to create matchup nightmares for many of these defenses that's in the SWAT. Now, don't get me wrong. I do understand that a lot of these teams in the SWAT do have players that are shifty enough to deal with him. But again, you got to understand, when you haven't seen something like this all the time, it can catch you. It can kind of catch you off guard. There's going to be some teams that's going to be ready, but there's going to be some teams that's, get, that's going to get caught slipping because guess what? This young man is going to come with something new out the bag, and you you're not going to know what to do with it. So I'm telling you right now, fam, you is looking to come put on a show, and they ain't playing no games with nobody. I'm trying to tell you now, they are getting prepared for this Orange Blossom Classic, and so many are sitting out here saying that hey, fam, you gonna get you know, fam, you gonna lose. Well, we are gonna see. I haven't made up my mind yet on which direction I'm going to go, but hey, I'm liking what I'm seeing from both of these programs, Jackson State, as well as FAMU, because they're both putting some phenomenal things together with these teams. But in the end, it's all going to be about chemistry. Who can, who can collectively get things together and make them work for their team, for them to continue to keep moving those chains and moving that ball down the field while putting points on the board so that their team can get positioned to possibly win the game. Let's walk with the FAMU Rattlers. The best of luck this upcoming fall season and look forward to seeing them do some great things out there on the field. Putting pressure on these SWAT defenses, letting them know that, hey, you better come out here with your A game every week because now they got additional pieces that can come in outside of the pieces that left and left and transferred to other schools. They're still getting pieces that's coming in that's going to be able to help them continue on building that program and winning ball games and possibly getting themselves into the SWAC championship, let alone maybe they might even win the daggone uh, celebration bowl this year. Who knows? Hey, like I said, when the season starts, when the season starts coming up against Jackson State, that's going to be the opening chapter of the story for this year. So until next time, guys, if you like the content, please like, share, subscribe. Also hit that notification bell, like these videos, comment on these videos, and share these videos. And until next time, guys, remember, be the one and lead.